Welcome back our dinar update, your premier source for all things related to the Iraqi dinar, we bring you up to date news, expert analysis, and in depth insights into Iraq's economy and currency developments. Today, we cover several crucial topics shaping the financial landscape of Iraq. We start with the prolonged delay in passing Iraq's oil and gas law. The article titled Parliamentary Wealth Oil and gas law stalled in government halls sheds light on the ongoing gridlock surrounding this essential legislation. The oil and gas law is critical for establishing a fair and transparent system for distributing oil revenues between Iraq's federal government and its regional entities, particularly the Kurdistan region. Despite its importance, the bill remains entangled in political disputes and conflicting interests among various factions. This delay is a significant barrier to stabilizing Iraq's oil sector and ensuring equitable revenue sharing, which is vital for the country's economic stability and development. The inability to resolve these issues could undermine Iraq's financial health and hinder its progress. In a different area of focus, Intel Guru Mars discusses Iraq's recent efforts to achieve greater financial autonomy. The country has begun issuing achievement bonds and national bonds, a move not seen since before the 2002-2003 invasion. This development is noteworthy as it signifies Iraq's push towards reducing its dependency on external financial influences, such as those from the United States. Mars suggests that these bond issuances could be a precursor to changes in Iraq's currency rate, hinting at potential economic shifts. This strategic move towards greater financial independence is crucial, and it is important to closely monitor these developments for any signs of forthcoming economic transitions. Adding to the financial discourse, New Sound Guru Militia Man provides insight into Iraq's strategy for tackling corruption. According to Militia Man, significant actions to combat corruption are expected to occur just before major economic reforms, such as a potential increase in the value of the Iraqi dinar. This strategy involves a decisive cleanup operation where corrupt individuals are identified and held accountable prior to any substantial economic changes. By addressing corruption beforehand, the authorities aim to create a more stable and transparent environment for currency valuation reforms. This preemptive approach is designed to ensure that the system is purged of corrupt elements, thereby supporting a stronger and more reliable economic framework. Additionally, Intel guru Bruce Via Weiss now discusses the anticipated timing for receiving notifications related to a significant financial event possibly linked to currency revaluation or exchanges. Although predictions have varied, the latest information suggests that notifications might be issued on Tuesday, August 20. If this occurs, appointments for exchanges or related actions could be scheduled for Wednesday with some potentially happening on Tuesday afternoon. This development hints at optimism for imminent changes in the currency revaluation process. In terms of gold prices, recent data reveals variations across different markets. In Baghdad, 21 karat gold, including Gulf, Turkish, and European varieties, sold for 531,000 IQD per mythkl, with a buying price of 527,000 IQD. Iraqi 21 karat gold was priced at 510,000 IQD, with a buying price of 497,000 IQD. In Erbil, the prices were slightly higher, with 24 karat gold at 605,000 IQD. 21 karat gold at 530,000 IQD, and 18 karat gold at 455,000 IQD, reflecting regional pricing differences. Lastly, a recent report by FDI Intelligence highlighted a 19% increase in foreign direct investment FDI, in the Middle East and Africa in 2023 totaling $249 billion across 2,600 projects. The UE led in attracting projects, followed by Saudi Arabia, which saw a remarkable 111% rise in investment value. However, Iraq faced a $5 billion outflow of foreign investments, 
illustrating its challenges in attracting FDI despite potential opportunities. Factors such as economic and political instability, poor marketing, and ineffective government institutions have hindered Iraq's investment appeal. To enhance its business environment and attract more foreign investments, Iraq will need comprehensive reforms in economic management, regulatory frameworks, and institutional effectiveness. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or need further clarification on any of these points, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and other financial news. Until next time, take care and stay informed.